the sign here. Welcome to Delco on this side, right? Absolutely. And what's on the other side? Thanks for visiting. Thanks Delco. for visiting, right? Yeah. We're on the road today, right? We're here at uh, Wilson's Secret Sauce Barbecue. This is not just barbecue. This is just about everything you could imagine here. I've eaten a lot of barbecue all over the United States, and I've never seen a menu this extensive. One of the things we really love about Steve and his family is how much he helped the hospitals and the businesses here. Yeah, we've been to uh, a lot of hospitals, probably about 15 hospitals. Uh, we fed over 3,000 people from all the different hospitals, different departments. Um, I'm usually running around doing everything. My wife Kelly's tying everything together like she's behind the scenes right now. We've been fortunate enough to not have any complications. Nobody's tested positive for COVID. And so we've been trying to give back to all the people that have been given to us and mm -hmm. helping us, you know, stay open. You do this a lot. Yeah. This is not a one-time thing. You do something uh, every yeah. week, right? Yeah. We've gone to the streets of Kensington and right? fed people in the street. We fed 500 people in less than an hour. Steve yeah. Wilson, let's go inside. Let's go check out the restaurant. There's tables and chairs for 56 inside, 18 outside, right? and then the takeout. We are looking for a kitchen to work out of, and this place, um, you would never believe what this turned into in two months with a lot of help from friends and family. Right. You want to go in the kitchen? Yeah, right? come on in. I was a mechanic for 30 years, and uh, we started doing competitions, and it turned into a catering business. Right. And, and before you know, we needed a kitchen to work out right. of. And here we are today, Next three years later. And then you got later. your whole family involved. Yeah. So we're in a barbecue restaurant, and there's Brussels sprouts being prepared. So we were here earlier, and uh, we were able to see the way the brisket was getting cooked. And now I think with the ribs in there, it's a whole different uh, aroma. I like to use the bone-in Boston butt pork shoulder. There's a bone in there, and I, and I treat it like a thermometer. When the bone falls, falls out, out, you know it's done. Right? You know it's ready to go. Look at so that. I don't load it up with barbecue sauce yeah. because I have a lot of customers that are diabetic. So in this day and age, a lot of people don't want the mayonnaise base. They don't want the baked beans and the mac and cheese for lunch. They want the carrots and the asparagus. And so we also cater to vegans and vegetarians uh, by cooking everything separately. This has been a lot of fun spending time with you. You know what would be interesting for the audience uh, is to understand how it is your business, you know, got through this. Because it sounds like you got creative. You found some ways to not just survive, but even thrive. When we went into this business three years ago, we had a girl that worked with us. She had real bad celiac. And she would be on the road with us for 10, 12 hours uh, while we were cooking. And if I put anything with breading in that fryer, she couldn't eat French fries. And so that's when we started having separate fryers for mm -hmm. gluten free and, and our vegetables. Separate surfaces, right? Yeah, we had a pretty diverse menu as far as, you know, not just putting meat on the table. What was your secret to surviving here during uh, the pandemic? We started to um, adjust our menu uh, all for $10 platters, all for different options. And so our $10 platter became really popular. And then we started going to the hospitals and we started mm -hmm. sending meals and then people started to donate to that cause. Mm -hmm. And so we've done probably close to 3,000 of those $10 wow. platters uh, to mostly all hospitals, uh, emergency rooms. We would send it to the maintenance department because- so nice, man because all the departments got food, but the maintenance guys, the janitors, the people that were actually holding the glue, yep, holding yeah. everything day together. In, day out, right? Yeah. If you help enough other people get what they want, you will always have everything you need. Right. And it sounds like that's what you've lived with. That was great fun. So remember everyone, be well, do good. Delco is counting on you.